And this is true for quite a lot of rightists and perennially minded people. I'm not philosophically perennial, but many right-wing people who are actually admire elements of Islam. For their belief, for their strength, for their ferocity, for their knowledge of who they are. That's Jonathan Bowden's Manchester speech. We'll link the uh, transcription on countercurrents below. I will elaborate on that in a later video, but this video is just for the bands. I'm not looking representable enough to make a regular video, so you will look at my avatar in Skyrim instead. Looks like me, but uh, I have a beard of wisdom right now, and I'm currently not painted with blue in my face. On another note, I would like to aware you all of the fact that um, I am fucking juicy. Bulk for the Hulk is uh, what's up. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to know more about my grotesque bloat max bulk. Focusing on the bench press at the moment. Now it was about six gorillion years since I played Skyrim, so I'm not really sure what... Uh, what we're doing here, but I suppose we're gonna talk this I mad cunt. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Fucking sick physique. How does that help us? Pray tell. Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loathe refuse to challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Fiend. Winged snow hunter, as I read it. Noise, mate. I'm gonna utilize that term. Worthy gentleman. Perhaps I'm gonna utilize that instead of saying true friends, because no one really understands. When I say true friends, a lot of people ask, what, uh, what is he saying? They don't understand my eloquence. But it is what it is. I will... Uh, Come to terms with his uh, blasphemy. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. Parthenax is uh, he, he's a good boy. I hope this he didn't do nothing. You what you need. It won't last. Fucking sickening. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I um, I will make some sort of training videos as well in the in the coming weeks while I am. Uh, a big boy when I'm uh, strong and uh, bloated and juicy. Did you want to talk to me, Delphine? Who are the Thalmor? Well, I think we all know who the Thalmor are in this epic saga. But let's not talk about that now. I don't want to get my channel shut down. We can talk about something safe instead. Let's talk about Perthunax, the mad cunt. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. But he's my friend. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. All right then. Thank you for thy insights, O oh fair maiden. I will um, prepare a trap. Are traps gay? Uh, is the question at hand. I don't know. 
Uh, I will leave that contemplation to uh, 4chan. They will determine if traps are gay or not. Uh, I, I would say traps are quite gay, actually, to be honest. Uh, that's just my humble opinion, but uh, who am I to gainsay the wisdom emanating from, from the chance? Imagine having a horn of mead with your lads in this hall. That would be fucking epic. Honored to oh, yeah, I might. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Arth, thou ready to spring the trap on the dragon? As I promised. My men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. Let's go my trap the dragon. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. My part is to be an absolute mad cunt who's just uh, being juicy. Hello, gorgeous. The Greybeards have arranged a truce between the Stormcloaks and Imperials. How long can such a thing last? On a completely unrelated note, um, well, it's not actually unrelated, it's highly related, to be honest. Um, Skyrim, I love this game obviously, but something that I don't really like is when people say elves are not good. I'm more of a Tolkien kind of guy when it comes to the elf question, since I refer to myself as an elf quite often, but that is uh, for another video as well. So, upcoming video, why do I refer to myself as an elf? Uh, in the de and it actually has a um, it's related to my vision for the future and how I want to conduct myself as a, an individual actually so look forward to that and if I don't make the video you will just have to remind me because I I know I'm quite bad in that sense that I sometimes say I will make a video on it and then it goes about six billion years and then I still haven't made a video so Always feel free to remind me of these things. Fua, Myrmillion. Look how beautiful it is. Do have a plan for luring a dragon here. Yeah. Um I don't I'm not really sure what to do to be honest, but um perhaps I need to shout. Call dragon, is that it? Um, all right, I suppose we'll try. Oi, oi, hello, mate. Oh, look at that. He uh, got absolutely wrecked. I've actually lowered the difficulty level a bit. Uh, in order to not uh, die, uh, I, I suppose my my voice of um, prosperity is the true charm of these um, episodes, uh, and not necessarily my gaming skills, which are non-existent. When it comes to Skyrim these days, because it was a very long time since I, since I played, actually, so, uh... But anyway, uh, from at me, from, I want to, uh, I want to box with you. I want to capture you. For the glory of a white run. Two-handed increased. How joyous. Okay, so we... Uh... We need to trap it, not kill it. Okay. Come now, dragon. Oh! Oh, fuck. This isn't good at all. I'm gonna need to... Oh, next to quick save. I actually have... 
I'm gonna do like this and Aha! That's uh, how it goes if you uh, question the wisdom and um, validity of my teachings. Ubona. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Seer Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. That's right, where is he hiding? Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Sickening. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae. None were yet ready to openly defy him. Thou wereest telling me where to find Alduin. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength. Sovngarde Devouring awaits. the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Hmm. Dost thou promise to serve um, me? Um? Serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. All right. Tell me what you know, then. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. We seem to be at an impasse then. Dost thou expect me to take us thy word for that? Fine, I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skuldafen. Indeed, or in oh. Pitro. I cannot leave here until you defeat Alduin, which you cannot do without my help. I uh, I misclicked there. You have reconsidered my offer. Yes, hmm? I have indeed, my, uh, my good man. You will release me, Rolan, if in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin. Yes. That uh, that is true. Korav Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. All right, let's do it. Um, okay, I just want no to make a short little video uh, saying hello to all. If you have watched this far, comment fucking sick physique in the comment section. So I know that would be fun. Uh, it would be a fun thing. And uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to make some more fast Skyrim episodes. Um, that 
is the only reasonable course of action for you to let me know that. Anyway, thank you for watching. XXO. Boom.